The opening day of the competition, accompanied by all the regular hope Hello, and expectation. To the entrants start together on the same line. Everybody has nothing. Previous editions of this competition have provided so much drama down the years. So much romance as well. This year's vintage will no doubt do the same. You can sense that extra spring expectancy in everybody's step. Even those of the officials. So let us hope that it lives up to billing. Big chance! And here's a chance. It's loose now and they want to get it back. In he goes again. Big moment. Massive goal. Well, talk about a real rude awakening. It's almost as if the defence saw nothing coming. They just didn't anticipate on heels rather than toes. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Oh, good ball, shots. Eto! He's got a goal! And they're at it again in double quick time. No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Well, he had to deal with an awful lot of unwanted attention, but his tenacity won the day. Two goals on the day, and he may not yet be done.
Well, hello and welcome for the first time this season to everybody around the world. And we have for you a clash of two teams with very similar intentions. A statement win at the expense of the other would be the ideal scenario for both. A flying start is certainly required. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Tony Kroos. Well, Peter, I'm looking forward to seeing a player who has brought some new skills to the game, Ronaldinho. He looks one way and passes the other. Unconventional and cheeky, but always, always an enjoyable watch. Yeah, he's playing beach football on the grandest stage of all. The entertainer. Belts one. Barcelona clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. They have what they wanted, the first breakthrough. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Goalkeeper's ball. Stood up well to him there. Rivaldo. Now it's Messi. Tries a shot! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Really got in the face of his opponent to set it up. It's great grafting. Bellingham. Iniesta, who has made his impact already. There will be one minute added time. And he's intervened well there. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there we are, half-time. Both teams head into their respective dressing room, and while there was a genuine flow about the game, most importantly, there has been just one telling moment. It is still very tight here. The game still up for grabs. And the half-time score, 1-0. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Barcelona leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Substitution for Barcelona, number four, Rivaldo, number 15. Here we go again. Iniesta, Barcelona nine, carrying a one-goal lead. Number 11, Ronaldinho, number 30, number 17, pass is just off target. Romario. Substitutions taking place. Great chance! to the good they have breathing space perfect placement the one place the keeper couldn't reach he had the whole picture in his head Peter he didn't even look at the goalkeeper and it didn't take him long just sitting on the bench and waiting moments ago already he has scored that's just as the manager would have seen it an impact sub Barcelona get themselves a two goal cushion well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Vinicius Junior. Look at the space here. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Stoichkov. And that's been intercepted. And that will be the final act. They needed to win, 
and they have won. It is a triumph. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Barcelona really deserve a lot of credit for what I'm sure would be a real confidence-boosting win. Such a, such a huge game being played. There were so many factors that would have got the doubters going, but I guess they'll all go a little quiet now. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all. With the owner of a blue car parked outside the stadium gate, kindly remove it.